I searched videos on YouTube and online about the Pittman arm on the Kubota B2920. Um, couldn't find anything on it. Even tra tractors in general couldn't find much about the Pittman arm. My Pittman arm snapped on the tractor and I just want to go through and kind of explain what I did and how I got it off. Um, here's the Pittman arm here. You can see these are my two pieces that uh, completely snapped. Go together like that. But uh, you can see on the brake it looks like a little rusted there. Must have uh, must have been cracked for a little while and then finally snapped. But I took apart the uh, dash. Um, there's a little screw it goes up inside. This Phillips head here was up on this tab. Screws into there to my dash. So I took this plastic apart here. There's a couple tabs. You can separate these two pieces here. A couple tabs with a Phillips head, or I'm sorry, a flathead. Just pop those off in these grooves right here. But uh, that was giving me access. What I did too is I, uh, I removed this here right from there. That's the tack. Got that removed to give me a little bit more maneuvering of the, uh, the dash plastic here. That allowed me to get down here to the pitman arm. So that, that sat on there like that. Um, and then what you need to do is you actually have to, I went to Harbor Freight and I bought this puller it was like 15 16 bucks this thing um, I gotta say well worth the money this part right here was a little too thick uh, to get back behind the Pittman arm the frame as you can see right here this frame is all welded it's like a bracket that's actually welded to the frame itself and so um, it was tough to get back there. And that's why there's marks. You can see like I scraped some metal here and scraped metal here as well. These two bolts, this one here and this one here, those have to come off. Remove those so they're out of your way. And that puller will go right behind the arm, screw it down into that bolt and uh, sprayed it with a little PB and that thing came off like a rocket. I actually thought I broke my puller um, when it snapped off of there, but it came flying off. Uh, so yeah, I got myself a little bit of room. What I did is I actually had the, uh, the Pittman or the uh, puller on the Pittman arm and then I just tapped it. That's why there's metal removed on the sides over there. Tap that down, got it lined up and then uh, was able to crank on that until it basically exploded off of there. What happened then, so we go under here, we can see my arm. Um, this is the, I think they call this the drag link, goes to the front there. Um, and this drag link had this piece on it. And of course, it's just kind of like a tie rod. It's a tapered, um, you can see this tapered part right here that it was stuck on. And so again, I just used the puller, put that on there. And uh, what I did is I actually threaded the crown nut here. I threaded that on the end of this, kept that on. And then with my puller, just put it on the end a little bit, with my puller, that actually kept, the crown nut kept the, uh, the center pin right here in place while I cranked on that. 
So same exact thing, that popped off. Two things done, got it off. Um, so yeah, uh, it wasn't, and I wouldn't say it was a really hard job. I've seen some where people break these pullers. Um, but man, this Harbor Freight thing, it's heavy um, and it really lasted quite well. Um, yeah, the part comes in tomorrow and uh, we'll reinstall it. Other than that, uh, put it all back together and I'm hoping should be good to go, all fixed up. All right guys, thanks for watching and uh, I hope somebody else can learn from this since I couldn't find anything on YouTube and uh, I've learned a lot and just trying to contribute. All right, we'll talk to you later.